Welcome back to the Jesse's Performance Channel. This week has been a crazy week. Totally not a normal week here. Um, we obviously are still doing some work on the GT86 and I will do a walk around update on that one. We did a lot of finishing work and wiring work on that one, but we also had to take a break um, and have some of our guys work on some of the shorter term in and out work that we had here at the shop. A lot of tuning. So we're trying to get some of the cars out of here. We have just an incredible amount of cars here at the shop right now, all kind of like, Turn around so you can see we have, and this is just everything that's here uh, in the main parking lot at our shop. We also have three lots out back where we've got cars. So yeah, we tried to get some some filler work, you know, some of that stuff done so that we could get some of these cars out of here. Uh, unfortunately, none of them really wanted to leave. We had an issue with almost every single car that we tried to tune this week. Uh, I'll go into more about that in, later in the video, but um, we are now less than three weeks out from the LS Fest event and we are pushing to get the Trans Am done. The Trans Am's kind of the, 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 the little bit of the concern one right now. Um, we finally got the motor back. Uh, we, we got a great setup now from Oaks Performance and got that picked up. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of recording done on the Trans Am motor stuff this week because I was out sick for several days. So um, I will do an update with Jesse on the Trans Am so that y'all can see where we're at on that one. And we shouldn't have a problem getting it done in time for the event, either car, the 86 or the Trans Am. But you know, less than three weeks from the day that we leave feels stressful because obviously neither car is ready to go but uh, we work hard Jesse works like I don't know 15 plus hour days so if anybody can get all this stuff done we absolutely can do it so uh, crazy week here but here we go Customer brought us an 06 GTO. Uh, I think it had a bad lifter and he brought it in just wanting the whole motor rebuilt. So we pulled the motor out, did a full rebuild. We put a Jesse's Performance Spec Cam in it and got the motor put back in. This was a quick like two day turnaround job. Got it onto the dyno. And unfortunately, it just, I think, had just a stock clutch in it and the clutch let go. So the car never got to go home. Uh, it's still here. We are gonna get the clutch replaced and get it back on the dyno and hopefully make a little bit more power. Yesterday, our friend Ty brought his Nissan 240 LS swap drift car by for some tuning. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of it on the dyno, but the customer did take some pictures. So I will insert some of his dyno videos into the video now. So what do you think so far? It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I guess that other guy's liar. <laughs> sounds healthy? Yeah, sounds really good. this 2006 Silverado job a customer brought his own cam and cam kit to install on his supercharged 5.3 Silverado uh, as you can see it's got a, a nice whipple supercharger on it unfortunately after we installed the camshaft the motor started to overcome the the supercharger it's not a very big supercharger so um, with the extra airflow from the camshaft we um, we're now gonna have to do a smaller pulley on it and hopefully we can make some more boost because right now it's it's not really making any more power than it did before with the supercharger without the cam. So we'll go ahead and get the supercharger pulley replaced on this one and get it back on the dyno and hopefully make some more power. Customer brought us this 2014 Camaro. Uh, he had a spun cam bearing and so he decided rather than trying to fix the stock 6.2 that was in it, he would just go ahead and do a 418 stroker. We got an engine from uh, Texas Speed and got that all in and everything. We did a Jesse's performance cam. We put it on the dyno. Unfortunately, it does have stock exhaust. So that was a big restriction and we weren't able to make uh, as much power as it should make. So we ordered a stainless works exhaust from Texas Speed and as soon as that gets here we'll get it put back on we'll get it put on the car and uh, get it back on the dyno it did make 493 already um, I, I apologize I didn't get a, a video of that I do have a little clip of the the cam chopping away <laughs> Um, 
Um, yeah, 493 on this one. It should easily make over 500 horsepower, well over 500 horsepower once we get the exhaust and it's got nice open flow. So we have gotten a lot of work done on the GT86, a lot of finish work. The last 10% of every build is always the most tedious, trying to get everything put back together. We, we put everything together to take it apart to put it back together. So that's kind of the, the, the last stretch is always the, the hardest part of the race, right? Um, the customer does want to be able to street this car, so we are having to do a little bit of street trim. Uh, it's going to have like a dash and a, a little bit of streetish kind of stuff in it. Um, I don't, it's a drag car, but he does want to be able to kind of do some street stuff with it. But um, I will kind of show you what we've gotten done and how far we've gotten. So this is the interior of the GT86. As you can see, we've got a Motion Rakes Works. Uh, steering wheel we did the holly the eight whatever eight inch dash uh the big 12 inch pro dash wouldn't fit so we ended up doing the smaller dash uh with a custom carbon fiber surround um we're not quite done with the interior stuff yet we've got the dash in it um over here where the radio went we were uh we're gonna do the arc switch panel so we'll get that installed we got the shifter installed uh interior is coming along nicely so we've got a lot of the carbon fiber pieces on that the customer bought. He's got a carbon fiber trunk. We've got the back glass installed. Carbon fiber rear splitter. He's got a lot of carbon fiber on this thing. The uh, parachute mounts all done. Battery disconnecting ports are done. All the paint work is done. thing looks super cool not really our flavor of car but it's turning out really really cool everything under the hood got the motor all in coils are mounted spark plug wires are made all of the fab work is done so we just basically put the car back together windshields in it's also got a carbon fiber roof pretty fancy. All right, y'all, that's it for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching and make sure you tune into our channel every Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. to catch our latest videos. And the Trans Am update is actually gonna be done in a separate video. And thank you for watching, see you next week. Hey guys, come out of Jesse's performance, if you need any tuning done, uh, this guy stands behind his uh, tunes. H, he's uh, excellent in HP tuning, uh, along with uh, your Holly uh, setups. So again, come out to Jesse's performance. Um, you know, this guy has uh, great customer service.